Password hashing is part of most PHP applications if you have some kind of authentication. Uh, but in this video, we're going to take a look at building a very small helper class that allows you to easily hash passwords and also check if a hashed password matches a password that a user gives, perhaps when they log in. So we're going to take a look first of all at how this actually works and then we're going to go ahead and build that class so you can start using it. And we're going to be using the PHP password hashing API which we've previously covered. I'm not going to go into too much of the theory in this video, we're just going to look at how we can build this very small helper just to help us along the way. So the first thing then is actually hashing a password. How do we use this helper to easily hash a password? Well, Let's go ahead and echo the result out of hash create this is how we create and let's say we have some kind of password within here this is obviously going to be a user submitted password perhaps when they register for your site now in this case what we're going to get out is a uh, long hash uh, this includes things like the salt and the algorithm that's used etc etc and that's just part of the php hashing api we'll take a look more into that in a moment now, when a user already has a password, so for example, they've submitted a password to log in, and that maybe equals cats, we can go ahead and check this against a previous hash. So let's go ahead and just copy this and paste it into here in a moment. Uh, all we're going to do is do a var dump on hash check. Uh, the first argument is going to be the uh, password, the hash, and then it's going to be the value, so cats. So when we go ahead and refresh, we see false. Uh, that's because I've got these mixed up. So let's just go ahead and just switch these around. So it's the plain text password first, then the hashed password. So this will exist in your database somewhere. And we'll go ahead and refresh. And there we go, we get true. So that's just comparing these. If we change this value, we'll obviously get a false. So let's go ahead and start to build this small helper that allow you to easily hash and check passwords. So the first thing we want to do then is go ahead and create this uh, class file. So I'm going to call this hash.php. I'm just putting it inside of my root directory, but obviously, uh, depending on your application, you can go ahead and place it where it makes sense. And I'm going to be namespacing this under project helpers. Obviously, uh, depending again on your application structure with your auto loading, uh, your namespace might be different, or you can just omit the namespace altogether. It really doesn't matter. So the class is going to be called hash. Uh, we don't need to instantiate this class, meaning we don't need to create an object from it because we're using static methods in here just to make things a little bit easier to work with. Uh, so we're going to have two static methods. So the first one is going to be to create the password. And this is going to take in a plain text password so we can return the hashed password. And then we're going to have a method to check the password which as we saw in the example involves path, passing in a password and then the password hash stored in your database uh, or wherever. So what we need to do now then is we're going to focus on the create first. So we need to load this in to our index file. So we can load in hash.php unless you're auto loading. And we're going to say something like hash create and then type in a password here. So let's go ahead and echo this out. And inside of here, we need to return something. So as I mentioned before, we're using the PHP password hashing API, which just gives us a really nice way to hash passwords as securely as possible. Uh, we can choose the cost, which is basically uh, how much processing happens in order to calculate the hash. Uh, the higher the cost, the longer it's going to take. Um, and the uh, algorithm as well, the hashing algorithm. So we're going to return password hash. The first argument is the plain text password you want to hash. The second is the algorithm. In this case, we're going to go with bcrypt. So we're saying bcrypt. And then we have uh, an array of options. So the cost here is going to be, say, 10. You can uh, fiddle around with this value just really depending on the hardware that you're using. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and check this out. When we refresh, ah, we see hash not found. Obviously, we have a namespace here. So you can either say echo project helpers hash, or you can go ahead and import this at the top, like so. Use that. And when we refresh, there we go. 
So there is our hashed password. That's our create. Now we need to go ahead and be able to check this. So if you are following along, leave this up or just copy it so you're ready to paste it in just a moment. And for uh, the checking, we use the password hashing API again to verify the password. So password verify. And this is extremely simple. All we do is we pass in the plain text password and the hash, and this will return a Boolean, obviously either true or false, depending on that was verified correctly or not. So inside of index.php then, this time we need to do a var dump because we can't echo out the value of a Boolean. So we're gonna say var dump hash check. We're gonna enter the plain text password, in this case it will be cats, and then the hash. We can go ahead and refresh the page and we see true. That means that the password matches. And again, as per the example at the start of the video, if it's wrong, we get a false. So there, now you have your very own small helper to create and check hashed passwords.